Hey guys, welcome to Smoking and Live. My name is Kway, and today we'll be reviewing the Shika Legend Dual Color V4 Hookah. Right here, I have the black and red, red gloss on the ashtray and the centerpiece, and the rest of it is comprised of matted black color. Now, I'm gonna go over what this hookah comes with real quick before I get started with the review. So first of all, we have the tongs. These are gloss red tongs that matches the hookah perfectly, the centerpiece and the ashtray. Also, it comes with this nice hose. It's a little bit of tuggy, but I don't mind it. Just make sure nobody knocks it over. And it comes with Oblivion Bowl. I have the Cloud Lotus on here because I ran out of foil. I ran out of foil. I, yeah. So, and also comes with a brand new V4 matted red vase with gold vinyl on it. Today, I'm smoking some Trifecta Morning Glory. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. This is the number one tasting coffee flavor I've ever tried. I'm gonna do a review on this real soon, but today I'm just smoking this. I'm also using Golden Desert Charcoal, which is, if you guys don't know, Golden Desert used to be um, Charcoal Blaze, and they changed the company name to Golden Desert. And some of you guys might know that Charcoal Blaze was my favorite coal company for a while. And um, ever since you know that company changed, I didn't like them as much. But the same people who made Charcoal Blaze are the same people who made these coals. So I want to give a special shout out to Golden Desert for giving me these coals to try out. They work absolutely amazing. It's just, I love it because the size of it and everything. I'm going to get into an in-depth review in these coals later on. but. So far, these are my absolute favorite coals. Not paid, not sponsored. Just my personal opinion, okay? So, let's get started on this thing right here. I personally, you know, I love traditional pipes. And, you know, I haven't pretty much done like a Shika review at all. This is my first Shiku hookah. I'm pretty impressed with how this thing is made, the quality of it, the welds are pretty good. Uh, the purge valve is pretty cool, let me, pretty unique. Uh, there's a lot of holes that are just kind of twist in here or drilled in here, whatever you like to call it, right there. It comes with a stainless steel ball bearing, but I replaced it with a plastic BB instead so it doesn't corrode. Uh, I advise you guys to do the same if you guys haven't already. This hookah has mild restriction and a nice, kind of like this very, very consistent traditional pull, you know? And I, from time to time, I do like this pull because I'm so used to smoking out on my Regal, which has such a huge gauge. And, you know, as a smoker, I like that. But, you know, if it's not for you and you like something traditional, this is absolutely the option to go with. The reason why I like this hookah is because, or, Kind of like, I wouldn't say why I like this hookah, but like, I don't believe that there's any other company for the price and quality and everything that you can have a traditional pipe with a modern taste to it. Kind of like buying an old 70s classic car, putting some new paint on it. You know, it's still gonna look great. And this is exactly what that is. New paint, you know, with a traditional feel. Certain people like that, certain people don't like it. I love it. This is the only pipe in my collection that has a modern touch also with a traditional pull. I can't really say very much about this hookah. It's just kind of like a one-off type of thing. It's very unique for what it is. I already told you guys that this has a traditional feel with a modern taste to it and it works better than a KM. You know, some say, you know, they're roughly the same and stuff, but you know, like, I like how Shika improves. They listen to their customers and they improve. You want a wider gauge bowl? They got you. You want a bigger hose? They got you. This right here, by the way, it's washable. A traditional looking hose that's washable. And don't let me get started on how many grommets this came with. When I got the hookah, it came with five grommets. I don't even know what to do with five grommets. 
I'm, I'm, I'm set on grommets already, but hey, if you're a guy that loses, breaks, rips the grommets, then you know, there you go. You got some extra grommets on the side for your other hookahs that you fucked up, right? It's a nice, solid, solid pull. And especially on this trifecta tobacco I'm smoking right now, I am really in love with this flavor. It smokes so good. The Cloud Lotus fits perfectly on there. Now, if you do knock this hookah around, of course the Cloud Lotus will fall off. But as you can see, pretty stable for what it is. No complaints there. The only downside about this hookah that I can find is that if you're not careful or if you're very rough with your hookahs and you hit this with like, you know, your tongs real hard like, like that and it will chip, you know? Um, that's probably the only downside from it. I haven't done like a traditional hookah review in so long. So I'm very, very excited. I might not seem like it because I haven't done a review in so long, but more and more reviews are coming out soon. So please stay in tune from tobacco, from coal, wherever it is. I'm gonna get that shit covered. Um, what can I say about the stem? Well, the stem looks traditional. It's a solid one piece construction with welds and I can't really take this off right now, but a stamped ashtray and also engraved ashtray holder. I'm still ripping some solid clouds. We are 20 minutes into the session. You guys don't know in these videos, I cut through it from piece to piece. I cut through it so I can tell you if it smokes, you know, good in the beginning, it smokes good at the end or whatever. This thing stays pretty consistent. I haven't had a super huge issue of ghosting, but when you do smoke something strong like double apple, it will ghost. Um, but since it's a washable hose and it's stainless steel down stem, just wash it with hot water and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Man, I can't stop smoking this thing. Woo! I'm not sure if you guys can hear the hookah, but it sounds just like every other KM if you really want to know the sound of this hookah. I'm not gonna get very deep into measurements and stuff. I don't care about measurements. I don't care about how much it weighs. I don't care about that. I care about quality. I care about how it looks, the aesthetics, and especially on how it works. And if a hookah doesn't work good, then there's no point in getting one. That's why I stick with Chica for the traditional feel because I've used KM in the past and some of you KM users know that over time, the welds on those KMs break off and you get leaks and that's no good. This thing is really well welded. That was a really tongue twister. Really well welded um, from the purge port to the hose port. And the paint just kind of like cover up the, the welds perfectly so it looks very flush. The accent of this hookah, you know, it, it got this kind of Mm, like color feeling to it. I have a Starbuzz, mm, what is it called? Starbuzz something. Starbuzz made in USA stem. And like these two are head to head, you know? I really, honestly, I do want to do a comparison video between the Starbuzz hookah made in USA hookah and also this Shika hookah because I feel like these two hookahs are very, very comparable from price point, but you do get a lot more from Shika compared to what you get from a Starbucks. Because a Starbucks, you only get the stem, you have to get all the attachments on the side, unless you buy a bundle from one of these third-party uh, distributors, like 5starhookah.com, shisha slash something something.com. I'll put some links down below so you know where to get this hookah. And I'll also drop a link below for where you can find more detail about the Shika hookahs if you guys haven't seen them in the past. They usually make a wide selection each year, new models every year, improving every year. I don't think a lot of companies do that, you know? And it's pretty much just the little things. They focus on a lot of little things. And that's what makes the hookah kind of like a one piece, one off, great hookah because of all these little things that they put together from improving the hose, improving the bowl, improving, you know, the paint or improving, you know, what they want to do with the vase. Personally, I love gloss vases. 
but this is the only matted vase, matted vase, proper matted vase that I have in my collection. And it fits into my 30 hookah collection very beautifully. <laughs> Look, in my reviews, these are all my personal opinions. And if you have, you know, your personal opinions and if you like the hookah or not, that's all up to you. All I can tell is giving you information on what I think about this hookah. Now I have used this hookah for over two and a half weeks by washing it, not washing it to test for ghosting and everything. And it's been pretty consistent so far. There's really not much bad about this hookah other than, you know, the chipping of the paint if you hit it too hard. But if you take care of your hookah, it'll last you a lifetime, okay? And I don't know if Shika's still doing this, but I heard that they do have a lifetime warranty on the hookahs. So please go ahead and check them out for more details down below in the description box. Once again, my name is Kway, and make sure you smoke, eat, and subscribe. And I'm out this bitch. More reviews are coming real soon to your way. Please click that subscribe button. It will really help since I'm not getting funded by anything or any company. So I'll see you guys later and keep smoking.